Hello there guys, uh, how is it going? Today I want to share with you how I stream my 3DS games to Twitch. Okay, so the program that I use is uh, OBS as you can see. And then I'm going to show you my settings, okay, and how it's done. But the thing is, my settings are just minimal, but I'm going also, you know, to show you what you can do if you have better internet than I do. Anyway, so let's begin. First, what you're going to do is to get a window capture. Of course, this is the NTR viewer. Okay, so this one here, as you can see. So you can select this. So uh, what you do is we must simply just add here. And it's going to ask you what you want to add. Let me see. Um, for example, this. Okay, so it's, it's going to ask you what you want to add here. So just select window capture and select, you know, the NTR viewer, which is going to be, you know, uh, your NTR viewer that you're using, uh, you know. So I already have videos about NTR viewer, about KitKat, all of that stuff. You can just go and check them anyway. And then what you're going to do also is you're going to go to settings. Okay, so here uh, there are many things. Uh, first thing is the output okay so the output here you can uh, choose between some settings you can use output mo mode like simple or uh, advanced okay so I'm just using simple because I don't want to go too much into detail the video bitrate okay so as you can see here I'm using uh, you know 600 this is just the very minimal one I'm going to show you better ones if you have better internet because I have limited internet speed uh, actually not the speed itself that is limited but I have limited data so I cannot use best settings because if I do it's just going to consume all of my data uh, too early anyway so here this is like the minimal one like you know the most minimal one that you can use is 600 so uh, for video here as you can see you can choose the resolution okay so for this uh, I'm using again the minimal resolution which is 360p it's not the best resolution of course but it gets your job done uh, so you know as I said I have these limitations I have these problems with data so I cannot use best settings so I'm just using this and I'm using uh, bicubic sharpened scaling because this is scaling. Yeah, there is this bilinear, fastest but blurry if scaling because you know uh, if there is a scaling, this is going to be a problem. So I'm just going to use this, and I limit FPS to 30 FPS. Um, it's okay. 3DS games are not that demanding to stream at 60 FPS. There are some games that are worth it, but. Even though if you have that possibility, the entire viewer doesn't stream at 60 FPS. Anyway, and there is also the audio. Okay, so here you can choose your audio devices. So this is, uh, you know, the desktop audio device. What you have, do you have speakers or you're just using, uh, I don't know, an amplifier or just uh, your TV, your screen, whatever. So I'm just going to choose it here. Okay, and you're going to choose your make or auxiliary device. So this is my microphone. So I'm using just my phone as a microphone. You can also, you know, look at the video about how to use your phone, your Android phone as a microphone. It's worth it. I think the, you know, the recording is quite okay. Um, yeah, so this is it. Okay, so these are just like the minimal settings. Now, if you want to change settings, um, if you want to, you know, your stream to be much more uh, better, like, you know, the image quality to be crisper, to be clearer and cleaner, you can use other settings. So if, if you have good internet upload speed, of course, and if you don't have limited data like I do, you know, just sucks. Anyway, so uh, to do that, you're going to go here. So my recommended settings, I mean, if you have 
what it takes uh, to do that. So my recommended settings here is just you're going to put here um, 100, okay, or uh, 1800 or 1600, depends on you, okay. So just use one of these, 1600 or 1800, okay. So I'm just going to go back to my settings. Of course, for the video again, I recommend you choose 720p. It's really good, uh, you know, no problems with it. Very clear, very clean. Okay, so you can just choose these settings. All right, so of course you can choose much higher settings, but my recommendations are like, uh, you should take into account that people who are going to watch you may not have very good internet speeds. And thus, you just need you know, your settings to be like good and at the same time not very demanding. So that's why I just told you to use those settings. But you can also use, uh, you know, full HD if you want to. But that's going to be very demanding for uh, your uh, audience. And uh, you, they may just, you know, experience a lot of buffering and all. So I don't think that sh that's something that you would want. Anyway, so now for the stream. Of course, here there are, uh, you know, many options here, like the stream type, okay, the service, so I'm using Twitch, and then the server. So the server, there are many servers in Asia, Europe, uh, North America, South America, the United States. Um, so you can choose any server that you want. So my recommendation is that you choose a server that is, uh, you know, that is likely not to be so... Uh, loaded with users so for example if you are in north america you can just use a server in europe because it's most likely it's going to be not loaded and it's going to be you know just fine other other than that you can just uh, choose a server that is uh, like uh, you know the nearest to your location anyway so this is just a, a matter of maybe trial and error sometimes now, for the stream key, so this is your stream key that you're going to get it from Twitch. So you just go to your account and you'll find it into settings. Go to your stream key, get it, copy it, paste it there. Okay. And uh, this is it. So, of course, you shouldn't share your stream key with anyone because it's just for you and for your channel. So uh, just don't, don't share it with anyone. All right. So these are the settings. So I'm not going to apply anything here because I don't want to change anything here. So as I said, these are the settings. This is how we do it. So if you like the video, please leave that thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos. If you want to see me streaming on Twitch, I'm going to leave my link down below. Uh, so you can just come and uh, see me streaming on Twitch. I'm streaming Fire Emblem Fates recently. So anyway. Uh, this is it. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, please. Subscribe and see you again. Bye-bye